Alright guys, I've been asked this question a million times in the last two to three weeks, and that question is, LP, what's with all the hats? Now the reason I've been wearing so many hats lately is that I feel like I've finally reached a size. My arms are finally a nice size, and my shoulders have grown, and I actually am starting to get a little bit of a chest, so I actually have a, an okay physique, and I feel like I can now wear a hat. Because when I was 155 pounds, six foot three, 155 pounds, genetically already with a giant head, when I would put a hat on my head, it would look so goofy. You already have a, basically a Q-tip, a skinny little guy with a big head, and then now you're gonna put a bright accessory on that giant head, it just looks terrible. And I know that sounds really weird, guys, but it's absolutely true. I felt completely goofy wearing a hat. Every time I put on a throwback or any kind of snapback or anything like that, anytime I'd wear it backwards, I felt like I looked like a stick figure wearing a hat. It just looked so stupid to me. You took this little skinny guy and then you put a big giant hat on him. It just makes him look even more skinny. Now to go into this subject just a little bit further actually, I feel that your head size has a lot to do with how you look aesthetically. Now to me what it looks like when a bodybuilder has a really, really tiny head is it looks like there's like an alien, a little tiny short alien, and he's like inside of a big muscle suit, and he's sitting at the top and he's like controlling this muscle suit. So all he has is this like little tiny alien head that pops out of the top. That's just what it looks like to me. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it's silly, but it's completely true for me. And if you guys ever have any questions, please just write them right there in the comments, baby girl, because you never know, your question could be the subject of my very next video.